Hey everyone and welcome to another video today. In this one, we'll take a look at how you can add an application back to iPhone home screen. Because let me show you what can happen to you. Well, you are here and you hold down on your icons, you make them wiggle, you edit the home screen, you tap on the minus icon, and you don't delete the app, but you remove it from the home screen, it's now gone. Now, the question is, how do you get it back? And now there are two ways how you can get the application back. The first one is by using the app library. So as you are on the home screen, you need to swipe all the way to the right until you get to the app library, which is a section of all of your installed apps. There you can find every single app that you have downloaded and installed on your iPhone. And as you are in here, just go to the folder, whichever app you want to add back and just grab it and you can move it over to its original place or just move it somewhere else, depends on where you want to have it. But that's just the first option and I'm going to say to you, it's not really the best one because the second one is using the spotlight search. I think, and in my opinion, it is much better this way. The thing here is that as you are in the middle of the home screen, you can just swipe down anywhere and you'll get to the spotlight search. And there are four apps which already show up right there, but you can search for any app that you want. Let's say that you search for maps or messages or whatever, and you can get some icon suggestions and you can easily just grab the icon like this and it's just going to move it over to the home screen. You can just put it wherever you see fit. So I think that this is a better option simply because you can just search for the app right away. You don't have to manually uh, try to find it within the app library. And as you can see, the app library is split up into some different folders, which you cannot really change. It's kind of hard sometimes to find the exact app that you want. So that's why I believe that using the spotlight search is actually the better option. So this would be basically everything what I wanted to share with you and show you in this tutorial. If you found this video both useful and easy to watch and follow, make sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it. For more content on similar videos like this one, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. We can see each other in the future with the next upload. Peace out.